Public relations is notoriously difficult to define, though advertising agency JPL does a good job in their ad here. Is it managing your image? Is it spin? Is it blasting news releases? That's not how we see it. To us, it's about your story and the chance to tell it. It's about relationships with real people, your customers, who today will embrace your story if it's made for them. A little less dynamically, the Public Relations Society of America defines PR as strategic communication processes, building mutually beneficial relationships between organizations and publics. Some PRSA professionals describe what they do this way. It's client development, it's business development, it's helping the agency build a better business. Uh, we work with our clients to develop uh, ideas and strategies and, and execute tactics to help get their stories on uh, the television news, their radio news, uh, on internet, and our latest services are utilizing mobile to help use mobile as a communications platform to communicate directly with consumers. Before moving on to take a look at some of the different kinds of PR, it's important to take a moment to remember that although the industry is often depicted as high-paced and exciting, the reality is that it often involves assembling corporate reports, late nights with bad pizza, and long meetings in community halls, especially when you're just starting out. Although communicating with external audiences is typically what we think of first as PR, employee relations is an important and growing field. Employee, or internal public relations, is focused on the organization itself, with a goal of making the organization a place where people are happy to work. Illustrated in this graphic by the Council of PR Firms, engaged employees are critical to your organization's success. If you're interested in the infographic, you can find it on my website. Disengaged employees cost the U.S. $370 billion a year. On the flip side, engaged employees optimize their productivity at work and become effective ambassadors for your brand or organization. Wondering if this might be a fit for you? Aaron Slater has some good advice. What kinds of people do well in that environment? What kinds of skills do they need? Uh, people who like a structured environment. Um, people who like to work on one mission continuously rather than having a lot of diversity in what they're working on. Um. L'Oreal's European Director of Employee Relations describes his role this way. Employee relations means to deal with people. So as a consequence, I think that social relations are essential at L'Oreal because we want to deal effectively in a good way with our people, with our employees. We want to have a constructive dialogue with people with their representatives, with the unions, with stakeholders, and we put a lot of energy to do that and to make it happen. Want to know what skills matter most for the job market? Aaron Slater has good advice for that too. You know, I always say as much as technology and all the new gadgets and, you know, knowing the top of the line latest, you know, uh, application for the smartphone and all of that is certainly very valuable. Basic reading and writing skills are just so valuable and so important in any job you are ever going to take. If you can't write effectively and not in a text message, um, you're, you're going to lose out a lot. Um, so basic writing skills, I think, are absolutely the number one thing that employers look for now because they know that we're in a digital age where everybody's talking in 146 characters. They really want to see, can you write an entire paragraph and uh, is it all correct and does it make sense? Moving from internal to external audiences, PRSA defines community relations specialists as those implementing community outreach programs which positively promote the organization's image. Okay, my name is Ron. You don't need to know my last name. Whoever wants to talk, go ahead, and we'll be out of here in a tight 15. Yeah, I don't think kids should be allowed on the playground equipment. Okay, we've been over this. If you're worried about swine flu, use hand sanitizer. I'm not worried about swine flu. I already have the swine flu. I'm worried about the turtle flu. The turtle flu. Turtle flu. Humorously dramatized here in Parks and Rec, community relations can be challenging, but they play a really important role. The mining industry, for example, places a high premium on community relations. Irene Sosa from Sustainalytics explains why. The reserves are becoming scarce for pretty much most of the commodities. So companies are going to have to start getting into what they call higher risk areas, which means 
you know, countries with human rights, poor human rights records, or uh, regions where there are indigenous communities that have never had um, contact with uh, mining companies before. So some areas that pose more challenges. The bar is raising and the communities are more connected and the companies are getting into higher risk areas. And um, there's also, because of population growth, there will be more uh, competition over land resources and water in the future. Um, so all these things will make community relations more important. In the aftermath of major disasters like Hurricane Sandy, FEMA's community relations roles are crucial. The new initiative is a neighborhood task force initiative. Um, some of us are going door to door working um, together with IA individual assistance and CR community relation teams to making sure that everyone has received the utmost assistance they can. And what I'll simply do is get on the computer, look up their uh, FEMA application or registration and see what it is that's holding them up. As we can see from these two brief examples, community relations can make a big difference to the publics they serve. Undeniably connected to public relations, campaigns and politics have captivated popular attention. For example, HBO's Veep. Hi, Amy. I am going to pass you on to Alicia, ma'am. Alicia? Alicia Keys? Alicia Bryce, that's right, ma'am. She loves you. Oh, Alicia Bryce. Oh, she's doing the walk to the White House. I know. Right, she wants universal child care, right? Yeah, I know who she is. Right. Child care, exactly. Amy, put her on. Alicia. Hi! Hi. Hi, Madam Vice President. How are you? I just want you to know that universal child care is something I'm going to be passionate about in my campaign, and I can't wait to see you on this special day. Thank you so much for being a part of, of all of it. I'm very honored. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Ma'am? Yeah, I'm in the middle of a lot of shit right now, so I'm hanging up. Yeah, we are delighted, too. Though certainly a cynical depiction, what's clear even in Veep is the importance of an effective public relations strategy. Sasha Isenberg from Slate.com talks us through how consumer data is being put to use in political campaigns. So instead of predicting whether you're likely to default on your loan or pay off your bill on time or run up $500 on your credit card in a given month, they're trying to predict how likely are you to vote in November? Who are you likely to vote for? What issues are you likely to care about? In many ways, government relations is the opposite side of campaigning taking an organization's message to government instead of taking government's message to the people. The lobbying firm of Hill & Knowlton explain it like this. Wondering what a career in government relations involves? There's two parts of my job, and the first part is, is advocating to Congress. And I advocate by going to meet with staff, going to meet with members directly, and talking to them about issues that affect Land Lakes and our member owners. And the second part is communicating that back to headquarters, back to our staff and our executive team, and to our member owners. Last but not least, we've arrived at media relations, perhaps the most well-known PR function. Though he could have perhaps used some more media training, let's listen to Worcester's chief of police explain why he believes media relations is important. It is to have an open relationship with the community and to work with the media to get our message out. And so one of the things that we're doing now is we're moving to new media, social media, as a way to reach a broader spectrum of people in the community. South Carolina's Richland County also has a well-developed perspective on media relations. Now, a law enforcement agency that wants to connect with its citizens but omits media relations from the equation is damaging its ability to effectively serve the citizens. Citizens form opinions based on what they see, hear, and read, which is why media relations is just as important as the most successful crime prevention initiative. Switching gears a bit, this example illustrates a great media relations campaign. 
Presto Light Performance was launching a new aftermarket suspension product at the world's largest automotive aftermarket convention held in Las Vegas. It's a challenge to try to launch a product at such a large event because there's over 2,000 different products spread over 2 million square feet. So there's always a, a wide variety of products and, and everyone has the latest and newest greatest things. So how do we best stand out in that space? Traditional media relations is important, but we just needed something a little bit extra to get the media's attention at this event. Uh, so in addition to a regular booth, that they had at a trade show. For our client, we created this driving experience out front. Through our efforts, we were able to secure 16 media hits within six weeks after the show. We made sure that we got the media list of everyone that was gonna be attending the SEMA show, and we took the time to go through the list and make sure that we were targeting the correct people for the audience we were trying to reach. Media relations was a huge focus, but in addition to that, we wanted to have some supportive things going on as well, so we took to social media to bring those car lovers to the show with the client so they would understand what was going on. We used different tools such as Twitter, Facebook, uh, even Tout so we could show them videos of what was happening out on the track and on the showroom floor. We were able to combine our data department, our communications department, and our multimedia department um, together to create a digital media kit to provide uh, that great experience for the media person uh, as he, he or she was covering the story. The majority of the immediate hits that we received from SEMA could definitely be attributed to those digital media kits that we sent as soon as we returned. Seen in this short overview, public relations is an important and compelling part of our social world. 